pride. Show me your greatness. Hi, what's up plebs? I'm going to be doing a discussion on whether or not Infinite Gold might just be the greatest set of all time. I'm not even joking. I think this, I mean, for the short amount of time that I've been playing and from what I know from uh, my friends and stuff, um, I think this could, well, in you know, definitely be one of the best sets of all time. Um, so here we have Konami's um, premium gold trailer thing that they've released. And, well... There's just so many good cards in here, like just cards that are, you know, they might not be meta relevant right now, but they're just amazing cards, like the hands, you know, ha the hands, fire hand and ice hand are amazing cards, like they're so good, um, obviously they're just not relevant right now, but that's not to say they won't be relevant sometime in the future, Pleiades again, like not that we needed the Pleiades reprint, but there's just so many good cards in here that, you know, were unnecessarily expensive, like Art Arch Eccentric Archfiend isn't particularly like amazing. I think, it, well, I mean, it is amazing, but it's just not relevant right now. So while a lot of these cards are kind of irrelevant, um, it's just amazing that they're like getting reprinted in like gold, like the cheapest like rarity, you know, this uh, Treacherous, uh, I think that's quite old. Red Eyes Flare Metal, which was only available in Secret Ghost and Ulti. Uh, Farfa is like Alec, like that, I, that means that the whole entire archetype of Burning Abyss is being reprinted. Um, yeah, there's just so many good cards in here. The, the prize cards, like Giant Hand itself made this one of the best like uh, gold sets, you know, um, especially once we got things like E-Telly and stuff confirmed. Um, and then if we like quickly scroll through, we can see like other cards like Draco Slayer. Not that that needed a reprint because you know it's at one. Um, and then here we go to the next slide with um, yeah, like uh, this level seven guy that was uh, the spellcaster did during um, thingy format. Um, Shadows, you know, time space get a reprint. Chidori mistake. Itali, of course, Daigostu Emro, absolutely amazing. You know, this thing has been overdue a reprint for so long. Ghost Ogre, M7. You know, M7 isn't like, M7 is an amazing card. It's so good, but it's not relevant right now. But that's what I like about the set is like they've reprinted cards that, you know, aren't relevant right now, but they will be sometime in the future, you know? So like maybe one day Konami will design a rank six deck and then suddenly it's like, oh, M7's back up to like $25 or whatever it's worth, do you know what I mean? And it's like, it's good to just have it like back to a low price. You know, Emerald was like, you know, like 30 quid or something during a Necros format. Um, it's still relevant now with Pendulum decks because, you know, you need to like recycle your Ignisters or something sometimes. Um, and yeah, just having mistake reprinted, even though it was just reprinted recently, but they're just reprinting everything, you know, time space. Lightning Chidori is so good, Lightning Chidori. Bahamut Shark has only had one rep one print ever, I believe. Um, if we scroll through quickly, we can see some more card. Mistaken Arrest, you know, like that card is amazing. It's not relevant right now, but it's just an inherently amazing card. Ouroboros, um, I'm just so excited for this, man. Castell, um... Naruto, there's just, like there's so many good cards here. There's just so many like inherently good cards. Uh, scrolling through, scrolling through, really slowly. Uh, I don't know what this is, uh, but there's Volcasaurus in here. Chimera Tech, we already knew that. Dweller, the Ghost Dogger's back there again. Reasoning, Reasoning did need a reprint. It was a bit of a hard to get common, I think. Um, it's going through really. Cr uh, big Eye, Big Eye. Uh, Dark Destroyer, of course, we already know. The, the Burning Abyss cards, like Beatrice, it's, uh, I, the set is like unbelievable. You know what I mean? So, I just I just think like this is a serious contender for best set of all time. Like there's just card for card in this set. There's just inherently like so many good things in here. There's so many of these cards are just so good. You know, like. Ah, oh, it's just amazing that like Rubric, Rubik finally got a reprint. Like Emerald, just a staple rank four is in here. Prize card Giant Hand is reprinted. Galaxy Cyclone, not very good right now, but I'm sure it will have its format one day. That's a great card. Mistaken Arrest, amazing card. Fair card, um, unlike Mistake, but like that's getting reprinted. That's amazing to see. Ouroboros, you know, that will have its format one day, um, Storm Mirror Force, that will have its format one day, that's getting reprinted, 
Ah, oh, I just, I, I'm just absolutely drooling over this set, man. I'm so excited. Like, Eccentric Archfiend's amazing. Stormforth got reprinted, so I'm going to call it now and say that Stormforth is going to get limited to one. <laughs> Calling it now. But yeah, like, I'm really new, kind of, the, to this game. It's like, I'm, you know, like I said many times, I've been here for, like, two years playing this game. Um, but, you know, from what I hear, from what I've seen, from what I've, like, researched in the past and stuff this seems to be the most amazing set of all time like this is so good there's just so many inherently good cards shared ride as well oh my god i missed that um yeah this i'm just so excited i have no words i'm super 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 horny for this deck uh sorry this set it's just i just, unfortunately it's gold so it's really ugly for some cards some cards look okay in gold i think giant hand gold actually looks kind of cool um i can't really think of what actually looks okay in gold um, F M7 kind of looks okay in gold. Slip Rider looks nice in gold. Um, so this Storming Air Force actually looks kind of cool in gold. Breakthrough looks kind of cool in gold. But there's some cards that just don't look good in gold. Like, you know, like Seer in gold looks weird, man. Like, Gold Chidori looks really weird. Uh, it's just the contrast of colors, I guess. But anyway, that's not the point, right? The point is, this is the best set of all time, potentially, right? So I just want to know... Um, you know, what do you guys think? Is this literally the best set of all time? I, I think it could be. I think it could be. So let me know down in the comment section what you think. Do you think this is the best set? Uh, and uh, hashtag money money if you watched up to this point. That's hashtag money money for gold. That's that's what we're hashtagging this video, guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> so foolish.